Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today we're going to do a tutorial on ore doubling. Now to start with, you're going to want to have some sort of power source. You can do whatever you want. I've just got a capacitor here that's got a lot of energy. And so that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial. Whatever you do, that's fine. Now I'm using leadstone flux duct conduit for my power conduit. And the reason why I'm doing that is if you look here and you press the shift here, you can see it transfers a thousand RF per tick, which is a phenomenal amount. And that works out really well for anything you do. So I choose this as my uh, conduit of choice. Okay. Now what you're going to want to make is you're going to make a sag mill and you're going to put that on one side and you're going to put a alloy smelter on the other. Okay. Now you go right click in here on the, the um, sag mill and configure it so that this side here, the side is facing into the alloy smelter and you want to right click until it says push. And that means it'll push these items here into it. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, now that we're done with configuring, what you can do is you put the flint that you have into this slot here. This gives you an extra chance of getting special things from it. And then what happens if you watch, this is how the doubler works. I'll put just one iron in here. Okay, you can see it's working. It's processing it out. And some pieces will show up in here. And they'll go over to the alloy smelter. It's usually like dust, two dust, nickel, and cobblestone. And they'll get fit into here. And this is the pulverized nickel. So we already got the two iron ingots from that. We only put one iron ore in. We got two iron ingots. And we got probably the nickels being done now. And this will be then go into smooth stone. And that's really all there is to it. This system is very simple. Okay. So now what happens if we want to put it into an ME system? And let me get that set up. And then I'll show you that. All right. I've cleared out both machines. So they're set up and nothing's even in here, not even the flint. So they're ready to go. And I've set up an energy acceptor along with a drive with just a 1K card and the crafting grid. And that's a typical storage setup that you would use uh, with a system. Now, what we're going to do is we want to take things out of here and put it into the system, okay? So what we're going to say is we're going to export out of the storage system. So you look for the exporter, you put on the back here, okay? You use shift and there it is, okay? And then you can tie that in with the Fluix cable. So let's just do that right now. Okay, there we go. Now, this point, it has just one square open. And you can put an ore in there, and that's kind of like what ores it will take in. If you get these ME, these uh, capacity cards, if you add two of those, it opens all the spots up. So let's say we want, um, we want flint to go through, we want copper to go through, we want iron to go through, okay? Those are the items we're going to put into our storage system. Now, nothing's going through yet, okay? Now, remember, we have it already set up to go across. Then on the other side, we want to basically import into our storage system what, however the output is. So you put an importer on the back and tie it in with a cable. You can see how it tied back in. So now this system is ready to go. So if I add flint as an example, the system here will start loading up with the flint. You can see it's loading it up and it just slowly goes. It's slow, but it works. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to put in some of the copper and the iron. I'm going to take out the rest of this flint so it doesn't slow it down. But you can already see there that the copper went and the iron's going. And if you go back over here, it's already processing the system. And then it kicked over to the alloy smelter, which is making the products. And anything that gets output will be put back here. And so if you watch, You'll see something appear here in just a second. And there's the first copper. There's two copper. So that's how it works. It's very easy, very easy to work with. Well, that's all there is to it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. Also, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon on your way out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.